The Crisis Center of West Texas serving victims of domestic and sexual violence in the community for decades. Hunter Alcocer takes a look at how far they've come and what it means to serve the community as long as they have. The Crisis Center of West Texas has been active since the early 80s. As time went on, they began expanding in order to better serve the community. So when Crisis Center started in the early 1980s, we were the Odessa Rape Crisis Center, and we didn't even have a shelter. We opened our first shelter in 2001, the day after 9-11, and our first survivor moved in on that first day. But then in 2019, we opened the Louise Wood Angel House, and it has really just expanded all of the good work that we can do in the community. They've been able to see how huge of a difference they make in the lives of those they help whether that's in the form of donations from the community or even allowing people to stay in their shelter. It is, it is such a people-driven mission, and getting to see the folks that we serve and know that we are keeping people in a safer situation than they were at home and able to provide so many wraparound services for folks is just so powerful, and I know that rings true for so many of us on staff. But in the pursuit of their mission, Horik also says that they hope to someday not be needed anymore. So our mission is to end domestic and sexual violence in West Texas. And our hope and what I tell students when I teach in schools and what I talk about in, in the community with when we're developing partnerships with organizations is that we want to create a world where no one needs to live in the shelter. But until that day comes, they will do their best to help those who come to them looking for a safe and secure place. In Odessa for News West 9, I'm Hunter Alcocer.